These all suck. Suck air, that is, because there are three different types of vacuum sealers. And these devices are great for extending the shelf life of dry goods in your pantry. Because what they do is remove the oxygen from containers. And by doing so, microorganisms and other bad things can't grow and spoil your food. So today, I'm going to show you all three of these devices and talk about their advantages and their disadvantages so you can decide which one is the best for you. I'm Prepper Popery and I have been making YouTube videos for over a decade in food preservation, emergency preparedness, gardening, cooking, and other topics. And today, we are going to discuss vacuum sealers. Let's decide which of these are best for you. And at the end, I'll tell you which one I prefer. And I have the links for anything I'm discussing down below for your convenience. Now let's get started. Let's look at our food saver. Okay, most of us have one of these. Uh, this is probably my second or third one. They last so long and then boom, need another one. So let's put some of this pasta in here. And let's get it all over the kitchen counter too. Okay. And this is something you have to be careful of if you wanted to vacuum pack in bags because of the sharp edges. So it's better in a jar. So usually the way you do it, we've already cleaned off that jar top. And we want to have our lid attachment, so there, good one. Now we just pull this out, put it down, and then turn it on. And it is on dry, so we want it on our accessory. Perfect. Now, it also comes with a regular lid top. So you have two, the wide mouth and the regular. Some people have problems using the regular one. Um, it just doesn't work quite right. They've came up with hacks where they put two lids on when they do it because it seems like there's something different in the spacing. But what I do is this. Let's take off this lid. And we want to take it off, right, without ruining it. Easy, right? Looks good. Okay. We are going to use a quart jar this time. And we need to get more of this in. <laughs> yeah. Now we're going to reuse that same lid we had, and then we're going to put the ring on. And then I have a canister put here, put this in here. Okay, and then we attach here, turn it on, and do accessory. I really wish Food Saver still made these canisters. I'm so glad I bought them when I did, which is probably, gosh, over 10 years ago. And they come in various sizes, but I love this one. There's a smaller one that actually I can use pint jars in. And this fits my quart jars, so it is so easy. I never have a problem with the seal when I'm using this. But Food Saver doesn't make them anymore. So I went on Amazon and I think I found a set of canisters that would work 
and the links below if you're interested. Okay, pop, didn't it? Can you hear that? Wow. Perfect, but works fine using your attachment too. So next we have the VP05 and I got this one because I was watching Darcy on the Purposeful Pantry and she said how great it was so I had to run out and buy one. And this is what it looks like. It's small, okay? And you don't have two attachments like the Food saver is just one because this is for the regular lids. But see this? You know, right comes right off, and then you're able to do the wide mouth. Now I have to admit, it takes just a little pressure here, and if I had a little larger hands, this would be easy but it does come right off. So we are going to do a wide mouth lid today. And I have some chips here. Rather than save them in the bag the way I have it here, I'm going to put them in a jar. Put our jar up here. Oh, let's see, we want them to go out faster than that. One thing always with any sealing you're doing, make sure you wipe it. You don't want any little dusty things on there, any little crumbs. You're going to put your top on. Then we have this part off because this is for the regular lid. So we're going to use this. And you want to make sure that when you put this on, okay, good seal. Now let's turn it on. Can you see the little... Now you want to listen to it. Hear how it's kind of gradually growing up in pitch? Okay, and it's keeping that same pitch. So it has been about 30. It's done. Okay, then we just that. There you go. I mean, wasn't that easy? Now we're going to use the push pin. Make a little hole in the top here. Wow, you're going to push it pretty hard. There we go. Now we got the hole. Now you want to put your little ring on top to hold it in place, the lid. And then take one of these. tab check. Can you see there's a little black part there? I'm going to put that black part over the hole. There we go. And then put this on top. And you're just going to keep on doing this until it really shortens up. Definitely think it's there. Now, Whew. okay, let's take off this. See if we got a seal. Yep, can you see I'm just reaching it from the lid? So there we go. The neat thing is you can use regular jars. This was a spaghetti jar, and the top has to have a little rubber seal in it. And it has to screw on. So here we go, screws on. Now we're gonna do the push pin on top. <clears throat> it 
there we go. Okay, get the hole there. And we'll just use a tab like before. Put it right on top. Okay, it's really shortened. If you can see it but the little bump in the middle is in let's see if you can hear when we release it yep definitely a vacuum seal and you can reuse these you just have to place them back carefully where you got them as long as they stay clean you can use them again and these are about at $14 for a hundred. Okay, you've seen all three. Now let's talk about them in a little bit more depth. You know, if you're reading them just by price, this is under $20 for your attachments, but you have to have the machine too, so yeah, that's gonna be pretty pricey. The other two options are around $30. Also for costs, for the pump and seal, you do have to have the tabs or make your own. Okay, what about ease of use? Well, your vacuum sealer, your food saver is pretty easy to use. And this to me though is the easiest, but I do have to admit if you have a lot little arthritis, you could have problems actually, let's see here, removing, yeah, there we go. It, it is a bit of a stretch, my problem is I have a very small hand. My husband came in and said, what's wrong with you? This is so easy. Well, it's not as easy for me. So that's something to keep in mind when you are using it. There you go. But if you're usually only doing big mouth jars, you know, wide mouth jars, you don't even need to have the bottom on. And the pump and seal probably is the least easy to use just because it does take some strength even to push that pin through some of the different lids. Other things for the ease of use, this one doesn't necessarily have a done. You know, on your vacuum sealer, it shuts off, you know. This one, you just gotta listen for the pitch change. And when it stays at a continuous higher pitch, you know it's done. Or when you use it enough, you kinda know the time it takes to do a jar. I would say the vacuum sealer is the easiest on that because the pump and seal also, you have to use it a while till you know, okay, yep, it's pumping different. The oxygen is up. So your food saver wins on that. Now let's look at versatility. The loser in that would be this because it can just do mason jars, but it does them very, very well. So your food saver, also vacuum seals bags, and if you have the right containers, vacuum seals those containers. And the pump and seal, well, that's your most versatile. It can do your mason jars, but it can also do bags, and it can do like mayonnaise jars. Really works out great. Now, if you're looking at electricity, you need to have electricity to run your food saver. So that would be the loser there. Your runner-up would be this because it works with a USB attachment, so as long as you had it charged, it would be okay. But your winner in this case is the pump and seal because it is an off-grid option. It doesn't need any energy except your own. Let's look at noise. Your noisiest one is your food saver. Your second noisiest, I think, is this. And then your third is the pump and seal. They all have a little bit different noise level. Okay, our comparison is done. Which one do I like the best? All three, because I use them in different ways. This is really great for mason jars. This is my favorite way to go. But if I am doing bags, then my vacuum sealer food saver is the way I want to go. But what if I want to reuse pickle jars or mayonnaise jars or something like that? 
then it's the pump and seal. So I'm glad I have all three products. You have to decide what's best for you. What do you vacuum seal the most and pick your product or products. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And if you're interested in other ways to extend your food in your pantry, watch this video.